Um, now we're recording, which is even better. And I think it's going to be a relatively quick call this week. There's quite a few people away, and uh, hopefully all our friends in, in Florida are going to be safe. Uh, but let's start things off, uh, turning over to Fred and the usual updates from the protocol and path, please. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll breeze through these. Um, quite a bit of load testing and observability features going on uh, when we talk about Shannon. So we're we're still making really good progress there. Um, our goals really are about fixing bugs and re resolving the testnet chain halt, which I think was resolved yesterday. Things are looking good. Um, going from there, uh, we're really working through um, the path local net and infra on the path side. Um, so really making sure that you can get up and running on path on either Shannon or Morse fully on your local, and especially when we're talking about Shannon. So making sure that path fully replaces the app gate server when talking to pocket role. Um, we're also making some uh, CD enhancements and publishing some CD changes in the path so that we can get more code out faster to you all. Um, in addition, uh, the repo and just some of the business logic around that repo is going out this week. Um, lastly, on the portal side, um, not really too much. There's been a couple bugs that I think we fixed. One was a billing issue with uh, kind of the new rollover to the unlimited plan, but um, that is resolved now and everything should be hunky-dory moving forward. Um, trying to remember if I'm missing anything. I think I covered basically Shannon, Path, uh, the portal. Yeah. Uh, oh, last thing that I will say is we're still targeting for November 1st to kind of refresh and relaunch the network on the F chains or the full chains, which would include trace or trace or debug. I'm still working on the specs and, and how that works when we talk about client diversity across all chains. Um, I will republish the link to the chat and the, um, form to sign up if you would like to be a dedicated node runner on the backup network or the shelter network um, going into the F chain launch. But we're still targeting uh, September or November 1st, excuse me That's for that. awful. Okay, thank you, thank you. Can right, you let me just jump in. Oh, jump in then, okay. Yeah, a uh, couple things to that to what Fred just said. Uh, and these are call, calls to action. So on the pocket network Moore's side, uh, we cut the release for RC12. Uh, so if you use the, uh, the main image, please start upgrading. If you use the GeoMesh fork, uh, wait for the pocket scan team to uh, publish that uh, because that's a requirement for us to uh, start experimenting with the RTTM map on the live network. So call to action, please upgrade your validators and nodes. Uh, that's number one. Number two, with respect to path, we're going to be getting close to having parity with the gateway server kit that uh, the team at Nodes built. So if you run a gateway, and you would like to be one of the first alpha slash beta testers uh, with some hands-on support from our team, uh, let us know uh, because parity is coming soon. And after that, uh, we'll have much better QoS integrate in there in the coming weeks and months. So call to action number two, let us know if you want to be an initial user of PATH in the near future. That's it, and thank you for the mic. All right, that's some good updates to everyone listening. Um, going back to quickly there, Fred, can you give us any more light on what happened with the chain halt, uh, why it happened, uh, and how you fixed it? This would be on testnet chain halt, um, and I think it was because, <laughs> uh, well, Shane, so you might be able to offer more color, but I think it's literally if you submit the governance TX with the square brackets as opposed to curly brackets, um, something about that parameter change just completely nuked testnet. So got to be careful there. Yeah, I'll provide some more updates. So there was a Moore's testnet chain halt and a Shannon testnet chain halt. The Moore's testnet chain halt was a result of submitting a 
list in the programming sense where a map was expected that was fixed and this is what we need to upgrade to rc12 before we launch the scanning testnet chain halt was a result of a non-deterministic gas usage this is because in the cosmos sdk and the most recent version we have a variable gas rate like all other chains it's something we get for free out of the box and uh, because of some issues with the costs when you submit a certain transaction we just did not account for that non-determinism and we're actively working with the binary builders and informal system teams to make sure it doesn't happen again that's it all right sounds good it's always good when we can get to the root of the problem um especially if, if it's square brackets over curly brackets uh, okay, that all sounds good. Next up, uh, other gateways. Anyone want to jump in for another gateway and give any updates? Looking at you, Sasquatch, if you've got anything to say. No, sadly, we're pretty. Everything's pretty quiet right now. We're still waiting on two votes from two different communities on onboarding, um, but that's all to all to report. Uh, can anyone here help with that? Do you need any call to action for people to go to communities and vote for you? Or is that uh, purely internal to those communities? Yeah, I guess it's fair. Uh, if anybody is part of Stellar or Rari, that is the two communities that we're working on right now. Okay, so anyone with Stellar and Rari, jump in and help out Sasquatch if you can. Um, all right, let's, I think, move on to the open floor. Um, I don't see Art here for any Grove updates, so unless Oshansky wants to jump in with some Grove updates, let's move to the, to the open floor. Any questions? Feel free to either say them or type them in the chat if you prefer. Uh, Miss Kitty okay. asks... Uh, okay, you go ahead, Crypto. You were introduced. <laughs> let, let me ask the question and then you can jump in. So Miss Kissy asks uh, for Fred Roshansky, with Art not here, can you give us a sneak peek re the AI talk that's coming up at MIT Labs? Uh, we see if anyone saw Art post about an hour ago that uh, he's speaking, I believe, or Grove is definitely speaking at the MIT uh, chat in, uh, pretty soon. Uh, yeah, let's hear more about it. If you guys can give us any, any more light on that. Yeah, I'll just say that... Um... We are in the midst of working through a lot of strategic things here at Grove and uh, also collaborating very deeply with the foundation. And um, we're even having some of those conversations today very shortly. Uh, but based on those discussions, we have some kind of new theses around AI and the consumers of AI, as well as the consumers of uh, permissionless services. So um, that will be kind of the focus uh, of, the, of the talk at MIT. That sounds like a good teaser there. Um, you know, the community loves to hear anything as soon as you say AI. Everyone gets very excited. So uh, uh, when, when is the talk and uh, how, can we, how can we tune in? How, is there anything we can do to help? Um, I don't remember offhand when it's happening, but uh, I'm sure you can Google it. Let me look. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can find it and get more details for everybody. Okay, well, I'm sure we will be over Twitter and, and in the den as well. So if anyone wants to listen to it, if we can, live stream it, or anyone happens to be, I guess it's in Boston. Um, let's find out some more details and maybe we can uh, sort of unveil a little bit more about the AI strategy and how, how Pocket and AI is going to work together. Okay, any other questions? Uh, feel free to anyone to ask or put in the chat.
Okay, if no one's got any questions, uh, we may just wrap it up uh, pretty quickly this week. I think everyone is, unfortunately, a lot of our, our colleagues here are, are, have uh, big things to deal with, with the, uh, with the hurricane right now. So it's been a sort of a short and quiet call. Um, one last chance for anyone to ask any questions, comments, solutions, ideas. Um, otherwise, we may uh, give you guys your time back. Alrighty then, I guess this is going to be the end of the call. Thank you everyone for being brief, uh, getting all the good info out, um, and I guess we'll have a hopefully longer and more productive call next week when everyone is safe and back and uh, Jinx will be hosting it. So let's hope it's not on the host, uh, it's on the people joining. So have a good time, uh, enjoy, your, enjoy your day guys, and we'll see you all next week. Bye bye. Thanks everybody.